The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. Obviously, I do only friends as an extra income, and doing it in the truck was very convenient for me. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? what's going on guys welcome back to the channel thank you for listening and in this commentary that we're gonna have today man is a female truck driver on tiktok unfortunately she lost her job because of inappropriate content that she creates in her truck now as i always say I, I tell you young ladies doing tiktok doing these type of content whether it's tiktok only fans or whatever the case you need to be careful of what you're posting you need to be careful of that especially if you're doing the content inside of a company truck and as i said before your ops your ops is your co-workers now whoever sent the video of you doing your TikTok or your OnlyFans or whatever the case to your company had to be somebody you know. Shout out to Midwest Baybets on TikTok. If you guys want to see the video without my commentary, go over and check out her page. Let her know that Lockout Men sent you. No more wasting time. Let's get it hold on so i'm a semi-truck driver and i got fired yesterday for posting inappropriate content in my truck inappropriate content in the truck it could be anything it could be maybe she's in her lingerie way maybe she's just doing some fetishes or something like that this is only fans i don't really think it could be like that serious but i guess it is serious to the point that the company felt that it was inappropriate to let this young lady go. I never said the company name. I never posted the company logo. I know there were a few people who reported me off of TikTok to my company. I guess they figured it out from my trailer. See, ladies, this is exactly what I was talking about. People watch. People watch. And I'm, I'm more for your safety than anything else. I honestly don't care what you wear, what you do. If you're out there shaking your booty, I came looking for booty. People is going to watch. I like you and I want you. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. And by you doing content like this in your truck and you already seen that somebody was able to figure you out from the content. They figure out your truck, they figure out the company you drove for. And again, it could have been the ops, could have been the co-worker that would have sent that information to your company. But still, you see how easy it is for people to figure you out as a truck driver. You're in this industry. It is dangerous. I've been saying that for the longest. And you doing this type of content just makes your safety at risk. It doesn't matter if you didn't mention the company name. It doesn't matter if you didn't put the company logo. Obviously, I do only friends as an extra income. And doing it in the truck was very convenient for me. I love trucking, and that's how I put food on the table for my family. Of course, doing content, not just you. A, a lot of new hey. truck drivers that comes into this industry. I honestly don't think you guys really understand these company social media policies. They didn't have that in place back in the day because it really wasn't that of a big deal. But now companies really have a social media policy in place. And you really got to understand and know what that policy is. It could be buried deep. I'm going deep, deep, deep into the employee handbook, but you got to read it to find out what it is. And sometimes you might be better off asking in the beginning, hey, I'm on social media. I do a lot of social media content. What's your policies on social media? And that company will definitely tell you what their policy is. See, again, a lot of chats that come in, y'all really don't put the fact that your bread and butter is the truck. Even though we know that the content is the truck, 
but your bread and butter is the truck and doing content like that maybe in your mind will be okay but it might not be okay if the company feels some kind of way so to know that there are people so bothered by me and my videos that they would take food out of my family out of children's mouths it's disgusting it is but you got to understand there is some diabolical people out here when social media was coming up and being a little bit more prevalent in trucking as it is now back then we had people that was doing talking hit videos while they was driving and their video was actually sent to their safety department by whoever the case that was watching that video i know one youtuber used to work for a flatbed company shout out to him he used to work for a flatbed company and him and his daughter was in the car and they was chilling daddy daughter time and they was just going back and forth off of each other and he was pretty much unfiltered in his speak he was off duty at home chilling with his daughter made a youtube video that got back to the company and the company called him and saying hey we got a video that was sent to us you doing inappropriate stuff in the car with your daughter that's how petty that's how how meticulous social media is and how people is they don't care about you the company don't care about you the companies do not care about you they care about their image and if you're in the truck doing inappropriate things or recording videos because the same youtuber made a video of when he was with one company they actually called him up and said hey can you not record your social media inside our trucks we we don't want none of the company logo or the insignias or the colors or anything of that matter to be in your videos so again i'm just telling you guys you got to understand you got to understand that you can be putting your job at risk depending on what type of content you put out there on your channel. On top of that, the company took my truck and left me stranded a thousand miles from home. Oh, okay. Now that's some BS right there. That's crazy. That That is crazy work. The company was that mad at you, put you out of the truck and, and left you out there to dry. That is mad work. Now that i don't think the company should have done i think the company should have just did you the right way or got you back to the terminal made sure that you were safe because now not only that they put you out of the truck but now they put your safety at risk that people out there is watching you nefariously and now the company puts you in a in, in harm's way that's not cool that's not cool company what you should have did you should have brought this young lady back to the terminal and had her get her way home safely that's crazy work right there so here's a big f you to whoever decided to put a hold on mine and my family's life well that's it what you guys think let me know what you guys thoughts about this in the comments below and of course i know some of you guys have been in this situation and if you had let's talk about it let's get a story going on you could send your stories or links or anything like that to the lockout man podcast guest at gmail.com or you can hit me up in the instagram at lockout men sad story for this young lady but this should be an eye opener for a lot of young ladies that be doing questionable content on either their TikToks, Instagrams, OnlyFans, whatever the case. Just be careful. I, I made a video before talking about we don't care what you wear. Well, at least I don't care what you wear. I don't care what you do, but I'm just saying you you you're putting the wrong information out there. And to some female truck drivers, you're kind of making them look bad but hey it is what it is you do what you want to do because you're a grown woman again shout out to this young lady she got a long ass name so it would be in the description go over there and check her out if you don't want to hear my commentary you can go over there and listen to the whole video i am sorry for the company that that did that to you but of course you do have your cdl hopefully your background is clean and maybe you should take this as a, a learning experience and remember this lockout me ain't gonna tell you your biggest ops is your co-workers